हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल लर्न कॉमर्स विथ नमिता आई एम नमिता माने इन टूडेज वीडियो लेट अस सॉल्व वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ क्रेडिट कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटी इन माई लास्ट लेक्चर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कॉपरेटिव सोसाइटी एंड फॉर्मेट ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट एंड बैलेंस शीट इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन एग्जाम्पल सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन सो यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन दैट दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ Pimpri People's Cooperative Society. So, from the following trial balance, from the following trial balance of Pimpri People's Cooperative Credit Society, Pimpri, as on thirty first March two thousand twenty two, and other adjustment, prepare profit and loss account for the year ended thirty first March two thousand twenty two. and a balance sheet as on that day so uh, the this is the trial balance of pimpri peoples cooperative credit society and there are some adjustment given in this example we have to prepare profit and loss account and balance sheet for pimpri people cooperative credit society so we'll see what is given in the trial balance so this is the trial balance particulars debit side and credit side so there are some am there are some amount which are given in the debit side and in credit side so first is cash in hand cash at bank fixed deposit furnitures interest on deposit and so on like uh, salary establishment charges printing and uh, stationery traveling expenses of staff insurance charges contribution to provident fund staff provident fund loan due from members etc okay and at the end of this there are some adjustment given so adjustments are interest due to members deposit was rupees 500 interest accrued due but not received was rupees 200 uh addition to furnitures during the year amounted to 100 rupees provide depreciation at 10% per annum on closing balance salary outstanding and prepaid amount 2 rupees 30 rupees and 50 rupees re respectively uh, audit fees due but not paid for the year amounted to 300 uh, 2 rupees 300 so this is outstanding uh, audit fees next is authorized share capital of society was 10000 shares of rupees 10 each and uh, last uh, last adjustment is directors propose the following appropriation for the year 2021 so these are some directors uh, uh, propose some appropriation like dividend to the shareholders at 5% of share capital 25% to reserve fund addition to dividend equal equalization reserves Rupees five hundred and addition to buildings fund rupees one thousand. So we are going to solve this adjustment. Okay. Now uh, see before we start the uh, before we start solving the example. First of all, what you have to do, you have to read the question properly. Okay, understand what is given in the question. So they have given in the uh, question the trial balance and what we have to find like what we have to prepare is. profit and loss account and balance sheet now in my last lecture i have explained you the format of profit and loss account and balance sheet so according to that format we have to prepare the profit and loss account and balance sheet for this pimpri peoples cooperative credit society okay so uh, first thing you are going to mark those items okay like cash in hand so cash in hand is what asset so this will go in asset the posting thing okay cash at bank assets fixed deposit assets furnitures assets then interest on deposit this is expenditure why expenditure because uh, interest on deposit the amount is in debit side so now see the amount which is in debit side it can be either expenditure or it can be either asset now the amount which is in credit side so that will be either income side income uh, item or liabilities item okay so interest on deposit is expenditure outstanding interest on loan outstanding interest on loan is assets salary expenditure 
establishment charges expenditure printing and stationery expenditure traveling expenses of staff expenditure insurance charges expenditure next is contribution to staff provident fund is expenditure loan due from members loan due from member is assets share capital liability reserve fund liabilities members deposit liabilities unpaid dividend liabilities dividend equalization reserve liability prov uh, staff prov provident fund okay this is provident fund liabilities next is profit and loss appropriation account balance as on 1st april 2020 okay so this is liabilities profit for the year 2021 this means this is a previous year profit okay and this will go in liability interest interest amount is 17000 and this amount is in credit side so obviously this is income commission income share transfer fees income cooperative development fund is liability and education fund is liability okay now we'll read the adjustment okay so adjustments total there are seven adjustment so interest due to member deposit was rupees 500 okay so now every adjustment will have two effect okay so this first adjustment okay interest due to members deposit was rupees 500 so first effect will go in expenditure side you are going to add 500 and second effect you are going to give in liabilities okay so mark the interest so this interest on deposit we have adjustment next is interest accrued due but not received was rupees 200 so this is two effect one will come in income side and second will come in asset sides so interest so mark interest next is addition to furniture was rupees uh, addition to furniture during the year amounted to rupees 1000 and provide depreciation at 10% per annum on closing amount so furniture is having adjustment now see here the furniture amount is 1200 so during so actual furniture amount is 1000 100 but during the year they have added 100 more that's why year in trial balance we are getting it 1200 okay and on the closing balance we have 10% depreciation next is salary outstanding and prepaid oh wait one minute furniture first effect will go in asset and second effect in expenditure then salary outstanding and prepaid amount to rupees 30 and 50 rupees respectively now here one is outstanding and one is prepaid okay so now for uh, outstanding you are going to add outstanding and for prepaid you are going to do the you are going to less it okay so salaries tick mark you have two adjustment so tick mark that means one tick mark is for outstanding salary and second is for prepaid expense uh, prepaid salary so for this first effect you are going to do in expenditure side okay and second effect uh, second effect means for outstanding salary you are going to give in liability side and for prepaid you are going to give the second effect in asset side now audit fees due but not paid for the year amounted to rupees 300 so audit fees 
first you are going to give in expenditure side you are going to give the first effect in expenditure side and second in liability side now authorized share capital of the society was rupees 10000 shares of 100 each so only one effect it will go in liabilities okay now next is uh, directors propose the following appropriation for the year 2021 okay so first is dividend to shareholders at 5% uh, on share capital so here uh, see the first effect and the second effect okay itself it will come in liabilities but under different head okay so this adjustments adjustment number 7 uh, a b c and d we we will do at the end so according to that i will tell you the second uh, first effect as well as the second effect when we are going to solve or when we are going to do the uh, posting of this entry okay uh, so first uh, we have marked all the items okay as per the uh, heads like cash in hand it will go in assets then fixed deposit furniture as well as the uh, this thing also what adjustment also okay so now uh, after marking uh, the items uh, as per the heads you have to prepare the format okay you have to prepare the format what we have to prepare we have to prepare profit and loss account and balance sheet so see in the books of pimpri peoples cooperative credit society profit and loss account for the year ended 31st march 2022 debit side credit side okay so on the debit side you will find all the expenditures in income uh, in your credit side you will find the in uh, income side okay in, in income items so this is the format okay so according to this you have to prepare the uh, profit and loss account okay so you will see interest bank charges salary and uh, allowances of staff then staff contribution to a uh, contribution to staff provident fund okay so this is the format of profit and loss account and second we have to prepare the balance sheet as on 31st march 2020 so liability sides are there asset sides are there so these are important heads like share capital cash and bank balance under them there are other items which comes okay so uh, uh reserve funds and other funds investment and so on okay so this is the format of balance sheet and up were uh, up below above uh, balance sheet is profit and loss account okay so now so first item is what cash in hand okay so cash in hand is assets so what is the amount of cash in hand 100 70 so we will make the entry here cash in hand amount is 100 there is no adjustment so we can write in the outer column 170 next item is cash at bank so cash at bank amount is 1300 so cash at hand uh, cash in hand and cash at bank so it will come in assets under the heading cash and bank balance cash at bank there is no adjustment so it will come it will go in outer column 1300 after cash at bank next is fixed deposit fixed deposit amount is 15000 so fixed deposit is assets so we will post it in asset side in investment so fixed deposit will go under the heading investment fixed deposit 
amount is 50 15000 okay next is interest on deposit okay interest on deposit is 8000 8, now interest on deposit we have adjustment okay so adjustment is interest due to members deposit was rupees 500 okay so that means interest on sorry before fixed deposit we have furnitures okay so furniture is 1200 and there is adjustment on furniture that is uh, addition to furniture during the year amounted to 100 uh, provide depreciation at 10 percent per annum on the closing balance okay so fixed uh, furniture 1200 but we are not going to write 1200 why because during the year 100 rupees was added so actual furniture price or cost is 1000 100 so now furniture is fixed assets so write in under the heading fixed assets in furniture uh, in uh, asset side furnitures now we have adjustment so write the amount in inner column so 1100 add addition during the year so addition during the year was 1000 uh, was 100 so total we get 1200 so on this 1200 there is a depreciation okay there is a depreciation of 10 percent less 10 percent depreciation so 10 percent on 1200 is 120 so now less this amount so final amount in outer column we will get minus uh, 1200 minus 1,120 uh, so 1080 is the final amount okay so now second effect of 120 will come in the expenditure side okay expenditure side is where in profit and loss account so you will see depreciation on fixed asset so here you are going to write 120 okay so depreciation on fixed asset that is furnitures furnitures 10 percent okay is it clear now next uh, is after fixed deposit uh, sorry after furniture we have interest on deposit interest on deposit is 8000 so on interest interest on deposit we have adjustment so that uh, adjustment will have two effects so one will come in expenditure side and next will come in liability side okay so uh, this is what 500 is the interest due so in profit and loss account interest total interest paid is eight thousand add interest due to member deposit 
it is 500 okay so outer column 8500 okay so first effect of interest due to uh, members deposit we gave in expenditure side now second effect second effect in liability side under the heading interest accrued due but not paid 500 okay next is outstanding interest on loan outstanding interest on loan assets amount is 800 rupees okay so this is asset in assets you will mention this outstanding interest on loan under other items outstanding interest on loan amount 800 okay so this outstanding interest on loan assets 800 is this uh, particular entry will go in asset side but under asset also under which head it will go it will go in other items okay so see assets under the head other items so this 800 actually this it doesn't had have, have any uh, adjustment so write it in outer column adjustment we are going to solve in inner column and uh, final amount we are going to write in outer column and if there are no adjustment directly write the amount in outer column next after outstanding interest on loan we have salary okay salary is expenditure total amount of salary is 3000 rupees so now we have adjustment on salary uh, one is outstanding salary 30 rupees and next is prepaid salary 50 rupees okay salary expenditure so expenditure will come in profit and loss account under the heading salary and allowances of staff so total we have 3000 rupees total salary is 3000 rupees but we have outstanding outstanding salary add outstanding rupees 30 so total we get 3030 rupees now less prepaid less prepaid 50 rupees So final amount 3030 minus 50. So total we get 2980 rupees. Now second effect will go first for outstanding it will go in liabilities and prepaid will go in asset side. Uh, in asset side. Okay. Now outstanding salary in liability side it will go under the heading current liabilities and provision. Okay under current liabilities and provision outstanding salary thirty rupees. Asset thirty rupees in outer column and in assets you are going to write prepaid 
salary fifty rupees. Okay, hope you have understood these two uh, effects. First effect of salary we have given in expenditure under the heading salary and allowances of staff. That is three thousand rupees. From three thousand we have add outstanding salary thirty rupees, and from that we have uh, reduced or less prepaid fifty rupees. Okay, and second effect of this uh, outstanding salary. we gave in lib uh, liabilities under the heading current liabilities and provision uh, for outstanding salary and for prepaid salary under the uh, uh, in asset side under the heading other items okay after salary there is establishment charges uh, establishment charges expenditure side uh, 200 rupees okay so now exp uh, establishment charges will come in expenditure but it will come under the heading other items okay so expend establishment charges establishment charges is 200 rupees after establishment charges printing and stationery 150 printing and stationery expenditures so printing and stationery under the heading printing and stationery you will find here 150 the printing and stationery traveling expenses of staff expenditure 200 traveling expenses of staff 200 next is insurance charges expenditure 150 insurance charges 150 now this will also come in expenditure but under the heading other expenses insurance charges one 50 after insurance charges next is contribution of contribution to staff provident fund 200 rupees contribution is expenditure contribution to staff provident fund 200 rupees directly post under the expenditure heading after that is loan due from member assets 3 lakh rupees so this will come under loans and advances in asset side in asset side under the heading loan and advances so loan loans due from members 3 lakh rupees next share capital okay now before this share capital we have authorized capital okay authorized share capital of society is 10000 shares of 100 each so share capital and authorized capital will come under uh, it will come in balance sheet under the heading liabilities now share capital now authorized capital is how much uh, there are 10000 shares Of hundred of ten each, ten thousand shares of rupees ten each. So total will come authorized capital ten thousand multiply by ten. So one lakh rupees is the authorized capital. 
ओके वन लैख रुपीज इज द ऑथराइज कैपिटल ना ऑथराइज कैपिटल वी डोंट टेक इन फॉर कैलकुलेशन ओके ना नेक्स्ट आफ्टर ऑथराइज कैपिटल वी कैन मेक द नेक्स्ट एंट्री ऑफ शेयर कैपिटल ना शेयर कैपिटल इज सेवेंटी थाउजेंड ओके सो ऑब्वियसली नंबर ऑफ शेयर कैपिटल इज हाउ मच सेवन थाउजेंड शेयर ऑफ टेन इच सो वी गेट द टोटल सेवेंटी थाउजेंड सो सेवन थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाय बाय टेन ओके सो नाउ नेक्स्ट आफ्टर शेयर कैपिटल वी हैव रिजर्व फंड रिजर्व फंड इज लाइबिलिटी रिजर्व फंड इज टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज रिजर्व फंड टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज नाउ सी इन रिजर्व फंड वी हैव टू एड लास्ट इयर प्रॉफिट ओके ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट ऑफ लास्ट इयर ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट ऑफ लास्ट इयर प्रॉफिट वी हैव टू एड इन रिजर्व फंड ओके दैट्स वाई आई विल राइट द रिजर्व फंड अमाउंट इन इनर कॉलम रिजर्व फंड रिजर्व फंड टेन थाउजेंड this is very important okay on reserve fund there is no adjustment but still we have to transfer 25% of last year profit in reserve fund so last year profit is total 16000 see profit for the year 2021 means previous year profit it will come in liabilities uh, so 16000 okay on 16000 Uh, remove twenty five percent so four thousand okay four thousand we have to transfer to reserve funds so add twenty five percent profit of Twenty twenty one. That is four thousand. So total we get fourteen thousand. Okay, fourteen thousand. Remember one thing. Now second effect we don't have. We have second effect under. Profit and loss appropriation account. Okay, so second effect we will do uh, later on. Now after reserve fund, after reserve fund, members deposit, members deposit liabilities. So member deposit is two lakh ten thousand eight seventy five. So this is also liabilities. Member deposit it will go under the heading deposits. member deposits member deposit member deposit is 2 lakh 10000 875 okay up next entry is unpaid dividend liabilities so it will go in liabilities under the heading unpaid dividend unpaid dividend is 1010 after unpaid dividend dividend equalization reserve Now see reserve dividend equalization reserve then uh, cooperative development fund educational fund building funds will go under the heading reserves and other funds okay in liability side so uh, next is dividend equalization reserve dividend 
equalization equalization fund write it in inner column because we have adjustment on dividend equalization so what is the adjustment adjustment is addition to dividend equalization reserve 500 rupees okay so add in dividend equalization add addition addition that is 500 so total second effect will give it uh, this uh, second effect of this addition to dividend equalization will come in liability side but under the heading profit and loss appropriation so at the end we are going to give the second effect of dividend equalization and then 25 percent profit of reserve fund also okay just remember that don't forget it so total 1500 after dividend equalization reserve next is staff provident fund or staff provided fund is 2000 rupees staff provident fund liabilities 2000 rupees now we don't have any secured loans dash we don't have unsecured loan also the things which we do not have in the trial balance uh, do not write anything even we don't have anything in other liabilities dash next is profit and loss appropriation account balance as on 1st april 2020 so liabilities the amount is 1000 rupees okay so this you are going to write in liability side under your profit and loss account but we will write in inner column profit and loss appropriation 1000 okay next is profit for the year 2021 previous year profit liabilities that is 16000 okay so this previous year previous year profit you are going to add in profit and loss appropriation account okay so profit and loss profit and loss appropriation 1000 add profit for the year 2021 so profit for the year 2021 is 60 16000 okay so 1000 plus uh, 60000 16000 is 17000 okay 17000 clear next interest interest is 17000 and on interest we have adjustment that is interest accrued due but not received uh, was rupees 200 so income side income side interest total interest is 17000 okay and there is adjustment add interest accrued two hundred rupees so total outer column seventeen thousand 200 a second effect of this 200 rupees you are going to give in asset side under the heading other items interest 
accrued टू हंड्रेड क्लियर नेक्स्ट कमीशन कमीशन इनकम साइड देन शेयर ट्रांसफर फीड ऑल्सो फीज ऑल्सो इनकम साइड सो कमीशन अमाउंट इज वन थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड शेयर ट्रांसफर फीज टू हंड्रेड रुपीज सो इट विल गो इन इनकम साइड सो कमीशन देर इज नो डिविडेंड रिसीव्ड ऑन शेयर डैश कमीशन कमीशन इज वन थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड शेयर ट्रांसफर फीस विल कम अंडर मिसलिनियस इनकम ओके सो टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ शेयर ट्रांसफर फीस इज टू हंड्रेड रुपीज सो शेयर ट्रांसफर फीस विल कम अंडर इनकम साइड बट अंडर द हेड miscellaneous income because it is miscellaneous income now we don't have any land and income expenditure nil we don't have salary and allowances of managing director also nil next is cooperative development fund and educational fund liability side take the amount 285 now cooperative development fund and educational fund will come under Res uh, under liability side, in balance sheet under liability side under the head reserve fund and other funds. Okay, so cooperative cooperative fund two hundred rupees. education fund 85 okay so now here we have uh, posted all the entries in profit and loss account and balance sheet now we have solved the exam uh, we have solved the adjustment also along with the entries okay so first uh, adjustment we have completed okay so first adjustment we completed uh, as well as we gave the second effect also second uh, adjustment also third adjustment fourth adjustment fifth adjustment is remaining that is audit fees due but not paid for the year amounted to rupees 300 so uh, first effect will go in expenditure side and second uh, effect will go in liability side okay so in expenditure side under the heading audit fees you will write outstanding outstanding audit fees audit fees is three hundred rupees and second effect of this audit fees you are going to give in liability side under the heading current liabilities and provisions all outstanding you are going to give the end post the make the entry in under the heading current liabilities and provisions outstanding audit fees थ्री हंड्रेड ओके नाउ ऑथराइज शेयर कैपिटल वी कम वी पोस्टेड द एंट्री देन नाउ डायरेक्टर्स प्रपोज द फॉलोइंग अप्रोप्रिएशन फॉर द इयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ओके सो वी हैव नॉट सॉल्व दिस एडजस्टमेंट ओके सो फर्स्ट इज ए इज वॉट डिविडेंट टू शेयर होल्डर्स एट फाइव परसेंट ऑन शेयर कैपिटल सो देर इज डिविडेंट विच इज गिवेन टू शेयर होल्डर्स एट फाइव परसेंट दिस थिंग इंटरेस्ट ऑन शेयर कैपिटल शेयर कैपिटल अमाउंट इज सेवेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज सो सो दिस इफेक्ट ओके बोथ द इफेक्ट विल कम इन लाइबिलिटी साइड बट अंडर डिफरेंट हेड्स सो फर्स्ट इफेक्ट ऑफ दिस डिविडेंट टू शेयर होल्डर एट फाइव परसेंट ऑन शेयर कैपिटल फर्स्ट यू आर गोइंग टू um make the entry under the head of 
unpaid dividend okay so proposed dividend proposed dividend 5% on 70000 70000 is what share capital okay so 5% of 70000 is 3500 3000 500 okay so first effect uh, we completed in liabilities under the heading unpaid dividend now second effect of this uh, proposed dividend of 5 percent on 70,000 of share capital rupees 3500 you are going to give in under the heading profit and loss account means in profit and loss appropriation okay now this profit and loss Appro uh, loss appropriation is in liability side okay it is in liability side in it is in balance sheet so proposed dividend okay 5% dividend 5% dividend you are going to less okay see minus your so less 5% proposed dividend that is 3000 500 okay so 17000 17000 minus 3500 we get total 13500 okay 13500 clear clear this adjustment dividend to share now next is 25% to reserve fund. Okay, 25% to reserve fund. Now this also uh, will have two effect. First effect we have already given in uh, liability side under the heading reserve fund and other funds under like 25% profit of last year we have already transferred to reserve fund. Okay, so now here you have added. Now in profit and loss appropriation account you are going to reduce it okay so minus 25 percent transfer to reserve fund so how much did we uh, did we transfer that was 4000 we had transferred okay so less less 4000 so 13000 minus 13500 minus 4000 total you will get 9500 9500 remaining balance is 9500 okay next uh, adjustment is addition to dividend equalization reserve is rupees 500 so this also will come in liability side so first act first effect we have given in uh, dividend equalization fund 1000 plus addition uh, dividend equalization fund was 500 okay now second effect of this 500 we are going to give in profit and loss appropriation this profit and loss appropriation is in liability side now your in reserve fund okay in reserve fund we have add okay we had did the addition of 500 now in profit and loss appropriation we are going to reduce it 500 okay so total remaining balance will be 9000 9, clear after that addition to building fund 1000 okay addition to building fund two effect in liability side only first effect will come in uh, liabilities under the heading under the heading reserve fund and other funds okay so write here addition addition to building building funds 1000 And second effect, 
in under the heading appropriation profit and loss appropriation less 1000 okay so 9000 minus 1000 total is 8000 is the balance okay now from the uh, this 8000 we are going to add current year profit okay current year profit so now we have to find the current year profit so here we have uh, finalized all the we have completed all the adjustment okay so this directors proposed uh, uh, adjustment like it had two effect but under in liabilities only so now we will close the account means we will close the profit and loss account as we have posted all the entries now add the credit side and debit side so income side is greater than the expenditure side that means we have net profit so add the amount which is given in the outer column So seven seventeen thousand two hundred plus one thousand plus two hundred, we get the total eighteen thousand four hundred. Okay. Now here eight thousand five hundred plus two thousand nine eighty plus two hundred plus two hundred plus one fifty plus three hundred plus one twenty plus two hundred plus one fifty. so you will see that there is a difference means expenditure side amount of expenditure side is less so difference is what difference is 5600 so 5600 is what a net profit and this net profit we have to transfer to balance sheet so where we are going to transfer here in liability side under the heading profit and loss appropriation so total net profit is 5600 so 8000 plus uh, 5600 the total is 13600 okay now your uh, profit and loss account both debit as well as credit is tally okay it is same now now close liabilities and means close balance sheet means check the amount of liabilities and assets are same or no okay now asset side add 170 plus 1300 plus 15000 plus 3 lakhs plus 1080 plus 800 plus 50 plus 200 so total you will get 3 lakhs 18600 so this is the asset side amount now let's check the amount with liability side so authorized capital you don't take in the calculation so 70000 70000 plus 14000 plus 15 Hundred plus two hundred plus eight eighty five plus one thousand plus two thousand plus two lakh ten thousand eight seventy five plus three thirty three hundred one thousand ten three thousand five hundred five hundred plus thirteen thousand six hundred so total you will get three lakhs eighteen thousand six hundred. Okay, eighteen thousand three lakhs eighteen thousand six hundred. That means a balance sheet is also tallied. Liabilities as well as assets, uh, the amount are same. Okay, so in this way you have to solve the example means you have to solve the final account. You have to prepare the profit and loss account and balance sheet for the. credit cooperative society so in uh, uh, like just in short to summarize what you have to remember is the format of profit and loss account and balance sheet so i will show you this format okay see in expenditure and income so don't forget the sequence okay you don't have to forget the 
sequence in balance sheet also the headings uh, should come in the proper sequence like share capital then there are some other items under share capital then reserves fund and other fund and so on okay so in the my first lecture i have explained you this format while solving the example of credit cooperative society you have you have to remember the sequence or the format of both the financial statement okay now we will re, uh, see how we have given the second first effect and second effect of adjustment so first adjustment see first effect under expenditure side in interest we add then second effect under liability side uh, in under liability side in uh, interest accrued due but not paid now second adjustment first effect under income side in interest we add then second effect under asset side and in asset side also under the heading of other items we post uh, we uh, posted interest accrued due not paid third if uh, adjustment first effect under assets fixed assets uh, then uh during the year at less depreciation means furnitures and second effect uh, depreciation on uh, asset side then fourth adjustment just read it so you will understand fifth adjustment sixth adjustment seventh adjustment seventh adjustment was very important means uh, it is uh, important to remember because both the things we are going we are the first effect as well as the second effect we are giving in uh, balance sheet under the heading liability side but you have to remember under which head like for example dividend proposed dividend so uh, unpaid dividend means dividend is under liabilities only so second effect you will give in liability side under the heading uh, profit and loss appropriation okay So I hope you have understood this example. Thank you very much. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, like and share the video and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notification.